Hey, good day everyone. Oliveira came to me all the way from Croatia. That means flying from Croatia to England and England to San Francisco. And she told me an interesting story today at our sixth session. What she told me is that she had a serious case of glaucoma, which is considered by most people simply high pressure that leads to major vision loss because destruction occurs in the optic nerve. And then um, she went through a huge amount of drugs. There's something that most people don't understand. Whenever you get a drop, the body tries to fix it by making the pressure even higher with time. So then you get another drop, another drop. She got up to six drops a day and three different kinds and each one with their side effects. Well, that wasn't enough, so the pressure went beyond reasonable pressure to a point it could really cause their blindness, so she had laser surgeries. And that decreased the pressure, except in a very short period of time, the pressure was out of control again. There was a big fear that she could lose her vision. A major operation was offered to her, and the operation was very risky. Sometimes it helps, and sometimes it causes us more blindness. So she didn't do it. Instead, she found my book, Vision for Life. And she did two or three exercises from that book, but intensively. Peripheral exercise, where she put a paper between her eyes and waved her hands to the side. Sunning exercise, where you close the eyes and move the head from side to side. She did it diligently, 15 minutes, three times a day. When she went to her ophthalmologist, not the glaucoma specialist, but the local ophthalmologist in her town, he had to measure her three times. Her pressure went considerably down to better than normal, basically. To give you the degrees from 20 mercury points to 12. He said, I cannot believe it. Is anything wrong with my machine? Then she came back and it was still good. After that, she went for a vacation and neglected her eye exercises. When she came back, it went up. And the ophthalmologist told her, I don't know what you're doing, but don't stop doing it. Your pressure just went up. Keep doing what you did. I want to see it down. It's amazing where we can get our mentors. So she did all the exercise for the next 15 days, and miraculously, the pressure went down. When she went to a bigger town, she lives in a small town in Croatia, and she met the glaucoma specialist. The glaucoma specialist dismissed everything she told her. She said to her, if there's anything to know, I know it. Well, I love that. <laughs> um, we have in history the idea that uh, Socrates was given the poisonous wine because he realized, as he was considered by an oracle to be the smartest man in the world, that uh, the one thing he knows is that there are many things he doesn't know. And so he had a bunch of students that went to the marketplace and they challenged every uh, merchant and have shown them that they may know things which are their specialties and their profession, but they don't know anything else. However, they have opinions about those things. And that's why the people in Athens gave him the poisonous wine for spoiling the youth. How interesting. Well, that doctor, like so many others, thought that all there is to know, she knows. So, she came to me for sessions. And we were able to expand her peripheral vision. 
I could feel with my fingers, so I don't have uh, measuring um, tools, that her eyes got softer, which is definitely a sign of uh, lower pressure. And she left the place smiling and happy. My work with glaucoma is very successful. I teach people to bring more circulation to the optic nerve, loosen up the neck and the head, and bring more circulation to the eyes. And the pressure may go down, and the vision may improve. But just like in the case of glaucoma, I can help many other people using natural vision exercises. And I'm raising my flag, and I'm saying internationally, vision can improve. If you look at my books, Vision for Life and Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing, I'm giving you tools to work on yourself, like the red and green glasses uh, work that you need to do with red and green glasses, and you divide between the two eyes, that most behavioral optometrists, and there are 1,500 in this country, will charge thousands of dollars for, and you can do it on your own at home. I'm giving you capacity to take care of yourself in my workshops and in individual sessions. And I'm being ignored at this point because I'm not known enough. Maybe it's for the better, but I don't think so. I want this work to be known, and I want this to help everyone on earth. So for that reason, I'm presenting to you my work with Oliveira in this small video that will precede this message. And again, cordially, we're inviting you for individual attention in a small workshop that we're going to do in our school this coming Saturday, Labor Day, Weekend, September 1st, from 9 to 6. Many blessings to all of you. Mia. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. There you go. Now go up to the chair here. This is, so the, this is the best picture. <laughs> on the okay. okay. <laughs> so give me your hands, first of all, uh -huh. and bow for me. Yeah, bring your knees close to your chest. There you go. You can say a woman approaching her 60s is doing this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, to get her eyes better. <laughs> yeah. Now, stand in the middle of the of the um, thing and bump. Yeah, very good. Catch the sky. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. This brings much more blood to your face, to everything. Now, land on your knees. Nice. Land on your behind. Nice. Oh, I succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, have a seat here. This is our pay for six session, I forgot. Six, Saturday, yes, six. Uh, this is our sixth session, and I had the privilege to work with Oliveira, who came to me all the way from Croatia. It means flying to England and then flying to San Francisco. And we worked on several directions, for example, uh, on bringing more mm. blood to the visual system, reducing the pressure from glaucoma, and increasing peripheral vision. All of them were a success in six sessions although those things are continuous and we have to see the success throughout the years. And okay. I really admire my wonderful student, client who herself is a music teacher who came all the way from Croatia to get herself better. All right. So, um, one thing, you can lie down here for a second. And this is something I always do, and this is palming the person and then doing massage around the eye orbits, from the nose to the ears, from the bridge of the nose to the temples, putting pressure right here, 
And however, I touch the eyes ever so gently to bring energy and pulse to the eyes. And then we are massaging the forehead and we're stretching the neck. And that is done very, very gently. One thing that really helped you a lot bend your knees is when I brought you here and here, here and here. That feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Here and here. Today you're going to fly back to Croatia and that's going to be a long, long way. So it's nice to go with a loose neck. <laughs> and also remember the two tennis balls that you can yes. put pressure on your back. Yeah. Okay, good. And now let's go to the side.